Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a ban list in Roblox Studio. Now, it's actually a pretty simple uh, it's, it's a pretty simple thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now what I mean and how it works, though. And uh, there'll be one way to do it, which is just, like type in a bunch of names, and then there'll be another way where you actually can ban someone manually. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play right here in my game. This is the game, right? And then, as you can see here, after I open it up, I have my game, and I shouldn't be banned right now um, because I updated the data thing. Okay, perfect. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the game. I'm looking all good, right? I got my UGC here. By the way, guys, cop the UGC here. It looks pretty clean. You can't lie, okay? Um, if you want to buy that, link might be in the description. I don't know, but it's called a wavy here. So definitely get that if you want to. Anyways, um, so as you can see here, I have me right here. And if I actually touch this part right here, I'm going to be banned. Now, the way the system works is it actually puts me on a list, and then it saves that to the game, so I am banned forever until I were to update the, the data if I wanted to. Um, but as you can see here, I touch this, I'm going to be banned. So I'm going to go and actually open up my console here to show you this. And let me go ahead and move this over here oh, okay there we go and I'll actually make it a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna change this to server and then log wait what the e developer console okay there we go all right um and let me change that to server all right and there we go watch this all right so I'm gonna touch this part I'm gonna be banned okay here we go and okay player is successfully banned forever uh, as you can see right there and then it says you were kicked from this game you are banned all right, so I am banned forever and ever and ever until I unless I want to remove the ban, which is a bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, anyways. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how I do this. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up a blank studio right here. And also, let me get this out of the way. Uh, I also want a blank studio, and then what we're gonna do is um, open up a new script in our server subscribers, and we're gonna call this a local manual ban. Okay. Now this is gonna be if you want to ban just like literally anyone from your game, because sometimes there'll be exploiters that you'll know or people that you don't like, you know, or whatever, and you don't want them to be in your game at all. Th and then you're gonna want to manually ban them in here. Now how you do it, okay, is you just type in a string of numbers like that, and then you ban them like that. Okay. So um, basically. Uh, let me show you what I mean. All right, so you would just type in like a string of numbers right here, uh, which is going to be the user ID, and then you're going to um, know that you want to ban them. So as you can see here, if I go to my actual um, my my homepage or my profile, I have a, a set of numbers right here. It says slash users, and then it says three nine zero three one one zero nine. This is my user ID, and it was like the order in which my account was made. So if I actually go ahead and paste it in right here, um, as you can see. Um, it will be in the manual band. And if I want to make more, I can, um, and I'll you know do different numbers. But if you want someone's uh, user ID, which is I definitely recommend doing, because you could do the name, but we don't want to do that because they can always change their name, but they can't change their user ID. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyways, definitely do that if you want to manual band someone. But this, we're gonna leave that blank for now. All right, and then we're gonna actually create a data store. So that, that way we'll save the na player's name or their user ID. Um, sorry, because we you know if the game ends, we won't know that they're banned anymore right because it's only that server so okay so what we're going to go and do is get local data store service and then we're going to get local band data store and then we're going to equal to data store service get service uh oh, get service i'm oh, no, sorry get data store uh and then we'll call it band data store as well all right now there's obviously a bunch of ways you can do this you can there's a lot of ways you can ban someone, right? You can give them a badge to know. You can do a lot of things. This is probably the easiest and most straightforward way. Um, so yeah. Also, you can also use um, like admin commands to do that, but this is obviously a custom, like you know, made yourself. But um, yeah. All right. Anyways, after a player joins, what we're gonna do is we're going to check to see the player added, and we're gonna see who's on the ban list. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local player user ID. We want that for sure. And you just get that by doing player user ID. Uh, also, make sure you do this game players added, and then put the player in there, um, in here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and do if manual ban, and then put brackets to you know, iterate through there. Uh, player user ID, then player kick. You are banned for being a bad boy. Okay, there we go, <laughs> and then. Uh, we're gonna make another variable right here called local band and then leave it blank for now And then we're gonna do another one down here, which is just gonna um, the get async to see if the player is banned So we'll do local success error message, you know wrap that in a p call um, P 
pcall, there we go. And then we're gonna do band is equal to band data store get async player user ID. Now there's, if you had like an actual game with a bunch of data in it, you probably wouldn't want to use more than one data store. I mean, I guess you could, but um, you would just make a variable in your um, table of data called band. Um, that's the way I'd do it. But yeah, anyways, obviously this is nothing else in this game but this. All right, so then we're gonna do if band, um, if band is equal to true, then player kick you are banned. And actually, I never even showed you guys that, but if I actually go ahead and join that game back right now, um, as you can see here in a second, uh, let me actually find the game. I'm going to be banned for forever. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. All right, here's the game right here. And then what it's going to say is exactly what we wrote there. Uh, well, actually, it might be different. I don't know. But um, it'll say you are banned or something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and test that out and see if that works. And Yes. Okay. Also, one. Actually, I'll say in a second. All right. So I'm joining the server, as you can see here. Banless tutorial, and you were kicked from the game. You are banned. So it did work. It actually did work. Awesome. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and do is go back into here, and now we're gonna go ahead and actually we're done with this. We're done with this. This is good. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and do is actually we need to actually ban someone because um. There's a lot of ways you can ban someone, but what I did for this was I could create a function here to. Ugh, there's so many ways you can do this. Okay, so how I'm gonna do it is I made this little test part just to test it out, right? Because you could just ban someone or just just set it from from uh, this this script. But however you want to ban them, there's a lot of different ways. But we're gonna do it through this little part right here. If you touch this part, then they're gonna get banned. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a ban part, something like that. And then we're gonna do a, f a script in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and name that ban handler or something like that. Uh, actually, ban player or ban hit. There we go. And then we'll call this actually ban handler down here. And there we go. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy our data store here because we want to use the same data store. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and do um, get the part. So we'll do local ban part as you go to script parent. And then we'll do ban part. Ban part dot touched connect function um, and then we're gonna put hit in there to see if it hit a player and then if hits dot parent find first child humanoid then and we know it's a character and then we'll do local characters equal to hit dot parent and then we need a player so we'll do local players equal to game dot players dot gear gets player from character and then we'll pass through the character and then we're gonna do um, we're gonna go ahead and actually pass through or actually set async the the um, true in the data store so we'll do local success error message as you go to p call function and then I'm actually not explaining too much I'm sorry guys <laughs> um, but I hope you know what I mean if you don't if you if you're this is your first like tutorial um, on Roblox scripting, definitely want to go ahead and watch my beginner series. It explains everything from the basics if you've never coded before, so definitely useful. Um, but anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap that in a p call, and we're just gonna go ahead and set async to our um, player user ID, obviously, so that's the key we had, and then we're gonna go ahead and make that true um, because now the player is banned. So then also, um, okay, yeah, that's good. Also, I never even set player user ID up here, so let me do local player user ID is equal to play oh I need to do it below the player local player user ID is equal to player dots user ID there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and just pass through that right there and then we're good yeah okay and actually we're gonna go ahead and do if success then print player is now successfully banned for eternity all right there we go perfect uh, and then let me go ahead and kick the player as well because they're now on the ban list but they're not kicked so we're gonna go ahead and kick them and do you are banned all right awesome so this is probably the simplest way to make your own custom ban list um, by using data stores because that's the only way you can really save data you can, you can you can do your own like website if you want use HTTP service 
but that can get a little bit more confusing. Um, but this is probably the simplest way. And now, obviously, there's also there's a lot of ways you can do it too. You can always use like a an admin script. But now let's go ahead and test this out and see if it works. Also, we're gonna go ahead and publish as well because you need to actually have your game published to use data stores. So go ahead and hit publish up there, and then we're gonna hit create new, and then we're gonna go ahead and call this um, ban test band test one I don't, I don't know if I named it anything like that I don't think I did so we're good and then I'm actually gonna go ahead and hit next and then I'm gonna copy that just for later all right and then we're gonna go ahead and go in game center here and then options and then enable this uh, we don't enable HTTP service but just enable the a, and enable studio access to API services and then we'll be good now to actually have a ban list um, all right so there we go now we're good and now let's go and test this out and see if it works so we can do it in a studio but it's better to test on a server when using data stores um, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish one more time, make sure everything's saved. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my browser, copy and paste that into there. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit play, and we're gonna see how this works. All right, let's go, boys. I'm, I'm hyped up for this. I think I think it'll do well. Or I think it'll 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 do good. Let's see. Uh, band test one, waiting for the server. Um, also, we can open up. We can press F9 to open up our console and see what's going on in here. Um, so yeah, our server console because we're the developer. Uh, let me move that and then where's the part all right here we go let's see if this works and okay as you can see there actually was a lot of data store requests and it got throttled um, but it's really not an issue honestly but you can you can fix that if you want it's not a big issue but um, it is work though this player is now successfully banned for eternity all right perfect you were kicked from this game you are banned all right that is that um, that's how you do it I guess yeah all right, let's well, say you ban someone. If you want to unban them, what I would do is um, what I would do is probably just remove the um, or just set it equal to false. Uh, so I would just do uh, like if you want to unban someone, you have to like probably do it in the console in the game or something. Uh, or or actually, yeah, no, you can do it in console in game. Or you can use something called data store editor. Actually, I don't think I've ever showed you guys that plugin before, but it's very very cool. There's a plugin called data store editor, and you can actually um, plug in your place ID, uh, and not these games, but you can plug in your place ID. Let me go ahead and get it from here. I'll do. Oh, actually, I have it right here. I think. Okay, uh, I'll plug in this right there, and then as oh, already was that, and then data store name, which is band data store, and then you hit connect. And then if you type in the key, uh, which is going to be my player user ID, remember that's the key we saved before. Uh, if you type in my key, then it will should show you um, that all the all the values saved in that key. So let's go ahead and put that in there. And then as you can see, there it is. There's one value called true. And now you can go ahead and set that to false, and the player will be unbanned now. Now this is actually a plugin called Data Store Editor. I think it actually might cost money now. I'm not sure to be honest, but um, I'll try to leave that description if I remember. Let me know. Let me, let me know if you guys want that. It's pretty cool actually because you can edit data stores without having to like, um, you know, you can do it through like a UI. So it's pretty cool. Um, but now actually, let's go and test that out and see if that works. I'm gonna go ahead and actually join back the game and see if that did work. Cause I'm kind of curious. Um, if it didn't work, maybe the plugin's wrong, but that's how it should work. All right, so I actually shouldn't be banned now because I, I set that to false. So let's see if this works. And okay, I expect that I'm not banned. But if I were to touch it again, I'd be banned again. And then if I were to join again, I'd be banned because I didn't set it. So let me actually test it and make sure it works. All right, so yeah, that, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it, though. That's how it works. It's pretty simple stuff, honestly. And um, that's how you make a ban list. Now, obviously, every single one's going to be different. For your own game, you might want something different. So this is just like a simple, simple thing. But as you can see, it works perfectly. All right, guys. Anyways, that's, hope that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I have some cool tutorials coming out soon. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, I want to do, like, development live streams. Let me, know if you guys, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I think it would be pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. And peace.